Welcome back to the channel. We do educational as well as entertaining videos on information technology. I'm your host, Drake Garibay, the Senior Systems Engineer for ReasonableITService.com, which is a place you will find professional grade IT support services at affordable rates. Today, I wanted to discuss deploying Waza agents systematically with a proper deployment package. A question came up on our last Waza video, which was basically, well, what if you have hundreds or thousands of computers and you need to deploy Waza agent to all these computers, or as I like to call them endpoints, in order for them to show up on your dashboard? Well, you're obviously not gonna wanna go around one by one to each of these endpoints and manually install the Waza agent, right? It's not gonna be very intuitive. It's just not even realistic. So all my systems administrators out there know you gotta be in touch with your scripting a little bit and you need a proper deployment package to set up to handle this job. What does that really mean? Basically means we're gonna have a computer system and or deployment server handle all the installation for us. We're just gonna do a little setup, a little preparation, and we're gonna let it do its thing. Welcome to Reasonable IT. Okay, so before we get started building out our deployment package, we need to cover various prerequisites. First thing, obviously you need to have a Waza server set up. Here I am in my web UI and you can say I have zero agents. Next up, you're gonna need PDQ deploy software, of course. So I recommend just do the 14 day trial. You have to use the pro version in order to follow this tutorial successfully. Click that button, follow the directions, install PDQ on your deployment server. Next up, we are going to need the Windows installer for the Waza agent. It's an MSI file that we'll be using our deployment package. All these links will be referenced on our blog, nice and neat for you guys. Just click that Windows installer. And then what you're gonna do is copy and paste this into your shared folder on your deployment server. So here I have a shared folder. Then I have a Waza folder in there with the agent, the MSI file. Quick note on the shared folder, simply create a folder, right click on it, go to properties. You're gonna go to sharing. You're gonna enable it here. You're gonna add your deployment user. In this case, I just did everyone read and write permissions. Great, and I clicked share. Then you wanna go to advanced sharing, enable share this folder permissions, and then add your deployment user here as well. Once again, for demonstration purpose, I just used everyone and I gave them full control. Okay, so next up, we have a little bit of prep work to do on the endpoints. In my example, I'm using a Windows 11 machine. This should work perfectly fine for Windows 10 and 11. And I know what you're already thinking. Well, why do I have to do all these changes to my endpoints or how? Maybe you have 100 computers, right? It's gonna be a lot of work. Well, that does fall outside the scope of this video. The best thing I can tell you is hopefully you're in a domain environment and you can leverage group policy to make all these prerequisite changes to all your endpoints and prep them for a Waza deployment. One thing that we're gonna have to do is enable local token pass filter. I'm not gonna get into the reason behind that right now, but yeah, this is the reg command you'll need to run. Once again, that will be available on the blog. So go ahead and open up command line, run it as administrator, and then just paste that in, enter, and you should get the operation completed successfully. Next up, we're gonna need to create our deployment user. So we're gonna go to users, we're gonna create a user. I'm just gonna call it deploy. Go ahead and create a password, uncheck, user must change password next, login. Create. We do need to make this user a member of the local administrator group, so I'm gonna do add on that. Okay and okay. Lastly on the endpoint, what we need to do is hit advanced sharing. manage advanced sharing settings, and we need to go and turn on file and printer sharing, save changes. Now, my friends, we are ready to start building our deployment package. I have already built out the deployment package, as you can see here. So you'll do a new package, right? Then you'll call it what you want, right? Waza agent deployment, okay? And then you're gonna start to build out your steps. And if you're using the free version, you would notice literally everything is X'd out here 
or crossed out. You can't use any of these features except for install. That's the only one it'll allow you to use. So again, that's why we need to do the 14 day trial and get the enterprise version of PDQ deploy. So yeah, then we're gonna do a PowerShell command. You can call that another name, right? Then you're gonna do another step and we're gonna run another PowerShell command. Okay, you get in the gist of it and you're gonna call your title there. You're gonna put in your PowerShell syntax right there. So now we can jump back into the already pre-built one and I can show you guys how this is looking. Okay, so step one, we're going to copy the Waza MSI file down to the endpoint. So what it does is it copies it from this path. So all you're gonna do is click these three little dots and you're gonna browse to your share that you created earlier, hopefully, and you're gonna click on your MSI file, okay? And then the target folder specifies where on the endpoints that this MSI file is going to be copied to. So in this case, I am simply copying it to the root of the C drive on the endpoint inside of a folder called waza-agent. No, this folder does not need to pre-exist on the endpoints. It's going to create it for you automatically. Then go ahead and check mark overwrite existing files. Conditions and options are fine on their defaults. As you can see, I called it copy the waza MSI file. Okay, let's move on to step two, which is install the waza agent. So this is the actual PowerShell command we're gonna use to install the Waza agent. Waza manager equals, this IP needs to be the IP of your Waza server. The Waza registration server is, should be the same thing. Once again, the conditions and options, the defaults are fine. So then let's go to the third and final step, which is just restart the service name Waza. So once it's installed, we need to basically start the Waza service and that's what this last step does. Great, once you have all those steps created, you're gonna click save. And once again, guys, all this syntax will be on the blog, so you can easily copy and paste. All right, so now we're going to select our package and we're gonna choose deploy once. So now we're gonna add the target computer. Okay, so hopefully you have a whole list of computers. If you have your DNS set up correctly, you could probably just use the host names. Um, what's cool here is if you do choose targets, you can actually use a text file as well. Um, in our case, obviously, we just have the one target, so we're gonna add computer. You're gonna want to add the proper credentials. Add credentials, and remember that user we created in the prerequisite, this is the deploy user. You are going to add that user here along with the password. If it's a local user, then you leave this domain blank. If it's a domain user, then you're gonna put your domain right there. In my case, I already have the deploy user as you can see. The rest of this defaults are fine and we're gonna go ahead and hit deploy now. But what I wanna do is I wanna pull up the test machine because I want you to see how this behaves. Again, once I hit deploy, the first thing it should do is create a folder here called waza-agent and copy that MSI file to it. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna do deploy. Let's take a look. You can also see the uh, status over here. It's running, connecting. 10.78, blah, 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 blah. Aha, there's that folder, guys. Boom, Waza agent. Okay, the status is running, it's initializing. What do we got in this folder? Aha, there's our Waza agent. And this is what's really cool and I love about PDQ Deploy. I love how it gives you this live status so you can see what's going on with your deployment. The status was successful, awesome. And that's all she wrote, guys. It doesn't clean up the Waza agent. We could probably come back and if we wanna be fancier, you know, we could do new step, run another PowerShell command, and then call this, you know, clean up Waza agent, whatever. What's the PowerShell command? And it's gonna look something like this. Great. And we're gonna save that. So I'll tell you what, guys, let's test this again right now and see if we have just improved our deployment package. I'm simply gonna run it over again. It's not gonna hurt anything if the Waza agent is already on the endpoint but it should execute that last command and remove this folder. So we can simply right click on that last deployment job and do redeploy. If everything looks good, hit deploy now. And then once again, let's monitor this while it's running. So my expectation is that this time around, this Waza agent folder should get cleaned up. As you can see, it's running, it's initializing. You can see the status here. Come on, initializing. Whoa, check that out guys, that folder just disappeared.
Fantastic. Now, let's say you had 100 computers. It would just continue going down, guys. It would continue going down the target list. That is awesome, guys. And that's super easy uh, to deploy. So don't be afraid. If you have a ton of agents and you might be thinking, oh, crap, how I love Waza, but how am I going to get all the agents installed? Well, now you have a solution. And let's double check on that. First of all, if we go back to services, WA, you can see Waza. Not only is it installed now, but it's also running. So remember, that was step three in our deployment package. Because normally, it'll install it, sure, but it doesn't start the Waza agent. So that's great that that's included. Furthermore, if we take a look in appwiz.cpl, we can see that the Waza agent has been installed indeed. And finally, if we go back to our Waza dashboard, you will now see we have successfully added one active agent and there you have it folks i hope you enjoyed that now you can rest in confidence when you have over 100 computers that you're going to need to deploy waza agents to now you can knock it out with pdq deploy if that helped you out in any way shape or form please at the very least will you like and subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends guys we're really trying to grow the channel we're closing in on a thousand subscribers and i want to thank each and every one of you for your support for watching the channel if you're looking for other ways to support you can also check out our ebay store give us a follow on instagram also let me know what video guys you want let me know what video guys let's rewind that let me know what videos you guys want to see next but until next time, I'll see you in the next video.